Hi everyone, Lexi here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to modify slots using TSRW and then importing that into Sims 4 Studio. Word of caution on this, TSRW and Sims 4 Studio are not technically compatible, so sometimes you can have bugs with this, sometimes it'll mess it up. I really recommend having a friend test this in their game, testing this extensively in your game to make sure that things are working the way they should. Another downside is that, of course, TSRW doesn't really have good uh, customer service. They're, they're not really updating things, and uh, you can't really go into Sims 4 Studio forums and be like, can you help me with TSRW? Because they'll be like, no, we didn't program it. We have no idea what's wrong. Um, so go to File, New, Object, Next. I want to do a bookshelf. So, surfaces. No weight storage. Next. Okay. Okay, so this is our item. We're going to go over here to slots. And as you can see here, we've got container entries. That's what we're moving around. Now, you only want to duplicate these one or two times because if you do it more than that, Sometimes it, uh, it'll give you heartburn. So right click, duplicate, yes. And as you can see that added another slot. Come over here, take this arrow, move it around where you want it to. You can move it down with this, you can move it forward with this, however you like. So I did that. I also want to duplicate this small one. Duplicate, yes. Same thing, I'm just going to pull this up. Move it over a little. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to file export to dot package. I like to do this on my desktop because I'm super lazy. I don't want to look for it later. Hit save. Yes. Okay, now you're going to open up Sims 4 PE. File open. Find that item on your, this was on my desktop, so open. Go down to RSLT, right click, export to file. I want to do it on my desktop because I don't want to look for it later. See above. Okay, save. Now we go into Sims 4 Studio. Oops, close that. Okay, Sims 4 Studio, file, main menu. 3D Mesh, find that uh, bookshelf that we were using, hit Next. Save it as something. Yes. Okay, so you go here to your slots. Uh, just come down here to this little, this is actually, so you have your Studio button here. Go to the Warehouse tab, Slot, Import, find that uh, binary file. Make sure that you change this little box down here um, from binary to uh, all files. As you can see here, and this is, our, uh, this is our slot file that we saved. So hit open. And that's it. As you can see, you come over here. Those are our four uh, slots. Save. File, save as, whatever, wherever you like. Um, and then you want to make sure that you go into uh, Sims 4, your, your game, and, and test it. So this is what it kind of looks like in my game. This is not a live image. I had to turn the game off because when I use my headset, like, my computer rattles. Um, but this is the difference. So as you can see, I had two little dolls here, um, and now I can have these many dolls. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, really quick short tutorial today. Sorry, my voice is kind of breaking up. Uh, if you have any questions or you run into any problems, let me know and I'll see if I can fix it or figure it out. As Sims 4 Studio is kind of evolving, this method is going to either become, you know, unneeded or obsolete. I know that adding slots and changing slots and adding swatches is a big uh, priority right now over at Sims 4 Studio, so I'm sort of anxiously waiting for the day when I don't have to use TSRW because it's really difficult. Alright everybody, thank you for listening. 
Uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know either in the comments or shoot me an email or whatever, and I will see what I can do. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.